Hi everyone, this is Star Claiborne. I am the founder of LEAD, Ladies Empowering and Aspiring Dreamers, where we support and develop new and aspiring entrepreneurs. Today I am here to introduce to you the author of this book, Unlocking the Small Business Game, Game Mr. W. James Dennis. This is Mr. Dent, that's him. <laughs> um, within our organization, we focus on really supporting other entrepreneurs, not just those new and aspiring entrepreneurs, but seasoned entrepreneurs as well. And we are really excited to invite this book into our Empowerment Book Club. So, uh, Mr. James, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Okay, well, basically, I'm primarily an author, uh, also blog, do podcasts, and I just talk about different aspects of self empowerment. Uh, especially the business aspect or making more money and pretty much anything that can empower somebody kind of free their mind or help them find more peace with themselves or accept themselves better so okay and this is just one avenue to do it this is the one avenue and we're going to talk about this book in just a moment um, I have had an opportunity to read a few pages of the book it is very very exciting to read um, it will definitely help those new and aspiring entrepreneurs who are ready to push themselves forward and it will break things down for you in a very, very simple manner. Um, Mr. Dennis, can you tell us what really inspired you to write this book when you first started? Oh, man. Uh, yeah, when I have kind of a sordid history. So I actually learned business because I was a street hustler. So that book, originally I released it back in 2006. It's a little bit different than it is now. And it was originally called The Hustler's Manual. And it was everything that I was kind of going through and learning uh, from my own personal experiences and from actual different teachers that I've met in, in different regards concerning, you know, being an entrepreneur in business. And I just kind of consolidated all that information and experience for the aspiring entrepreneur or people that are just kind of confused with the abundance of information that's out there. Because there's more information out there now than it was, you know, when I first started. So a lot of people are they just feel overwhelmed, and I really want to simplify things for them. Right. And as a new entrepreneur at this time, even for myself, um, like he said, there is an abundance of information. There is so much information out there; it can get very overwhelming, very confusing. And you really want to look for something that's going to help you pull it all together, make it simple for you. And just make it easy for you to get started and, and just move forward, even with the imperfections. So um, this book will definitely help you get started. It really, really, really breaks it down very, very, it makes it very simple for you to understand. Um, what, what would you say would be your favorite section in this book? My favorite section, uh, probably the first few chapters that deal with what we just call inner game. And that is developing the right mindset as an entrepreneur, how you have to start looking at things the way you need to start thinking because it's two totally different mentalities. If you've always worked at a job, that's in an employee mindset right. and that's normal to you. But when you're going to be an entrepreneur, you have to develop what's called like a, a boss mentality. So a boss thinks totally different than an employee. You have to look at things different than an employee would look at. So the first half of the book is all inner game. It really helps you start developing the proper mindset that you need to make that transition. And I, in my personal opinion, that's the most important piece. And the mindset is very important when, you, when you're starting that entrepreneurship role. I personally came from thinking that I would be working for someone the rest of my life. Um, so to step out into entrepreneurship was very different for me. Um, the mindset that I had to to have to make sacrifices right. Um, right. that that's been that's been very very difficult um, but it is something that's doable that's um, right. and as he said with the first part of this book I think I've read the first part of the book maybe about three times now so it is a very important piece of the book you do want to make sure that you actually really really dive into it and break it down and understand what you're reading in the first portion of it to really get you started and moving forward um, what what would you say would be the most challenging part for you? What was the most challenging part in writing this writing book, book and why? Oh, uh, it was taking because when I first started learning how to be an entrepreneur, and this is back when I was like fifteen, so long, long, long time ago. <laughs> but, you know, we didn't have the internet. You couldn't just go right. online and just go find stuff. You had to go, you know, buy books, buy mm -hmm. courses, buy entire tape, you know, on cassette tapes, mm -hmm. and. I was getting a lot of information, but when it came time for me, when I started my first business at 17, 
And even my second business, when I was in my early 20s, I had a lot of information, but I didn't know how to actualize it. Okay. Actually how to put it into a way that is going to work for you, benefit you. So with this book, the most challenging thing was taking all these concepts and things that I've learned over the years and basically breaking them all apart. It's like a big puzzle. And I had to break, take the big picture, break it up into smaller pieces, and then put it in a way where it's organized. So as you start reading the book, even if you don't know anything about being an entrepreneur, it'll take you step by step by step with the mentality, um, how to talk, how to dress, and actually give you not just strategies, but actually tactics, things you can go use when you actually go out here and you know start representing yourself as an entrepreneur. And I, I, I've heard that before from a couple of other authors when it comes to putting the book together. Like you have all this information <laughs> right. in your head, right. but when it's time to actually organize it and put it on paper um, mm -hmm. and put it in the book and, and make it to help it make sense so that exactly. other people can understand what you're trying to get out of your head, that's, right. that's been the most challenging it, it part for most writers. Very but, however, isn't that where the editing comes in? <laughs> <laughs> that's my question. I'm not a writer. But I'm curious to know. <laughs> well, if you don't have an editor, you have to have that skill. Okay, okay. Well, um, get an editor. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Get an editor. <laughs> um, is there anything that happened during this writing process that you would um, like to share with us? Anything that was interesting, funny, weird, strange, anything? Um, oh, well. It, it's funny now. It wasn't <laughs> funny back then. But uh, I don't remember which chapters, but there were like two chapters in that book that I started, and they weren't flowing. And for me, when I'm writing, stuff has to flow. Mm -hmm. So there's two chapters in the book that weren't really flowing, and I, me, I get you know a little frustrated, and instead of trying to piece stuff together and make it work, I just scrap the whole chapter, and I start over from the beginning. Really? Yes. That's interesting. Yes. So <laughs> it's funny now. It wasn't, it wasn't funny then. <laughs> all right. So being that you've been through all of these challenges, this oh. was 15 years ago. Right. We have the book now in our hands. <laughs> we can purchase the book. Um, what would you say would be the one tip that you would share with aspiring authors at this point? I'm an aspiring author, so aspiring I want Aspiring authors? Just write. Just write. Even if you just write one paragraph a day. That is one less paragraph that you have to write. You know what I'm saying? So just write. Just get all your stuff out. It doesn't need to be perfect. It doesn't need to, you know, you're not trying to win any awards. Just get those thoughts out. Type them, or if you want to literally handwrite them and have somebody type them for you later, just get it out. Just get all just that stuff it. out. Just, just do just, it and just write it. Just write. And what you'll find, um, especially if you're not comfortable with writing, what you'll find is you go through that process. By the time you get to the end, you'll kind of find this, um, I guess you can call it a voice for yourself. Can't think of a better way to describe it. You'll kind of find your voice, especially if you're writing something lengthy, you know, okay. like 100, 150 pages. You'll kind of start finding this voice for yourself. And you'll have all these you know, different chapters and ideas and paragraphs all over the place. And you'll kind of find this voice for yourself. Then you go back to the stuff that you started out with and you'll start seeing like, oh, I can, where you can make improvements. Okay. And, and it doesn't sound like it, but what you're doing is you're actually finding your voice, finding a way to, to get your thoughts out in a way that's going to connect with whoever you're trying to connect with. So okay. just start okay. writing. So I'm just, just going writing. to start writing. I just told another author that I will start just writing because I'm not <laughs> an author, but I'm an aspiring <laughs> author. So we'll see how that goes. And hopefully you all will see that in 2017. <laughs> oh, um, do it, do it. I, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. So um, how do you feel that this book will actually help the, well, I think we pretty much dove into that a little bit. How do you right. feel it'll really help um, other entrepreneurs and business owners? It's simplified. It is, um, and I've studied a lot of business books. Uh, like I said, I've taken courses. I've spent since 15, and uh, I stopped probably maybe only a few years ago. Stopped buying. I still buy books, trust me, but not as much. Mm -hmm. And I've never seen business just simplified. The way I write is I like to relate things to like everyday, it's like this. Business works in the real world. Mm -hmm. It works in the real world. So if you have real world principles and examples and concepts where you can relate business to, it makes it makes you understand right. it just that much faster. It's, it's just that much quicker. Because some people like, uh, I was doing a podcast once about branding and I went to the Wikipedia just for the heck of it. 
And the first two paragraphs of that Wikipedia page about branding is the most confusing. It's like collegiate level writing. Now, <laughs> aspiring entrepreneur, they're not going to understand that. Right. They're not going to understand that. And I'm not saying that what was written is wrong. It's just you don't have to make things so complicated. Business itself, there's a lot of intricacies. There's a lot of things you need to learn, but it doesn't have to be complicated. And that's you know, that's what I strove, strive, strove to do. Strove is that right? Fast One tense. of those words. <laughs> I'm an author too, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but what I was uh, attempted to do, and I hope I was successful, was I simplified a lot of business concepts. I made things very, very, very simple. Um, from what I read so far, it is pretty simplified. Um, it does relate to a lot of the real world concepts, so I can actually say that you have uh, oh, done well, well on good. that. Um, and as for me, I feel like when I tell people to explain things to me, I'm consistently telling them, talk to me like I'm a five-year-old. Right. Um, because I really want to be able to relate a little bit better, so right. I think I can relate to this. And then also the fact that easy reads are good for me, and especially new and aspiring entrepreneurs, not just me, but as a mompreneur, True. yes, I have a lot to do. Yes, so yes, having yes. that that easy read is the best thing ever. Yeah, because your, your mind is already... Yes. different things and then you're like okay well I do need to learn something or stuff yeah absolutely yes I can definitely see that yes so um, we're gonna wrap this up just wanted to do a quick um, interview here to introduce this wonderful author um, he does have other books available but this was the one that we really really wanted to highlight for those new and aspiring entrepreneurs out there um, mr. Dennis if you want to tell them where they can find this book how they can connect with you um, and then we'll we'll go ahead and wrap this up over here. Okay, yeah, definitely. My website is wjamesd.com. That's W J A M E S, just the letter D. dot com. And you can find on my website all my books, and you're also able to download uh, free pre preview editions. They're PDF form. I give you a few chapters, uh, a few excerpts from different different chapters. Let's see if the book's for you. Uh, for purchase of the book, all the links are on my website wjamesd.com. And they're all available on Amazon in both Kindle version and paperback version. Awesome. So, again, um, Facebook. Can we find you on Facebook, Twitter? You can find me on Facebook, Facebook and Twitter. And the links are also on my website. Okay, so click the link, wjamesd.com. And, again, this is Star Claiborne, founder of LEAD, Ladies Empowering and Aspiring Dreamers, where we support and develop new and aspiring entrepreneurs. We create leaders. And we look forward to connecting with you soon. So please go connect with myself, Star Claiborne, S-T-A-R-R, Claiborne, C-L-A-I-B-O-R-N-E. Or you can find us, that's on Facebook. You can find me on uh, LinkedIn. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook at Lead Empowers. So again, thank you for joining us on this interview. And we hope that this has been some helpful information for you. And we both look forward to connecting with you all in the nice. end. And here is the book again, Unlocking the Small Business Game. Game. Go get it. Go buy it. Go support. Have a nice day. Thank you.